Hi everybody, this is Amit Kumar and welcome back to Click Replicate tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to transform date fields, source and data lookups, table fields versus global transformations, adding filter to task. Okay. So let's begin with this tutorial. So let us understand from the basic label, what is replicate? Replicate is a tool to copy the data from the source system to the target database. It may be a similar uh, format or may be a different format. In between uh, the in data replication, we follow a lot of transformations in order to make a seamless transition between source to destination data structure. So let's get into the click replicate environment. So I'm going to show you uh, glo global level transformation as well as the table level transformations. So let's create a new task. So initially I have to give the name of the task and the direction should be unidirectional. That means source to destination only. And then I have to choose the type of the load, whether it will be a full load or apply changes. Okay. Full load will be aggregated and apply changes will be the CDC. Basically the change will also be reflected in the uh, destination. All right, so as you can see, there are the list of the data connectors, source and destinations, and I've added to the task, uh, source and destinations here. So as you can see, I have uh, quite a, a lot of uh, endpoints configured like Nateza, uh, you know, Kafka, and multiple uh, endpoints, so which you will be using uh, for your know, data migration from source to destination all right so the next thing what we have to do is we have to edit the uh, selections and then we'll choose the tables so here we can select the uh, schema i think it will be dbo and then i'll make a wildcard search by applying the percentage and through which it will select all the tables and then and now i'm going to go inside the global rules where i'll create a global rule which is used for the transformation of the table data and here you can see a lot of options i have to choose the schema and then i'll rename the schema as for my convenience So I have to change the uh, schema name. I have, I have given the schema name as uh, ML and remaining things will be same. And I've created a first rule which will change the schema name in the target. So after the first transformation, I'll create one more transformation which will rename all my table with a prefix. Okay. I've selected all the tables with this uh, schema and then I'll choose the table name. And before the table, I wanted to have a prefix as TRN. So TRN is, is not just for my convenience, not just for my understanding. I've added this table uh, name is TRN, which will add a name before all the tables in the destination. Okay. Now here, I'll just save the task and then start processing. So once this task will be processed with a full load, all of my tables will be replicated to the destination table with the prefix as ml as a in place of the dbo and then trn before the table name so as you can see my uh, source tables these are the tables and see the you know attributes so these are really standard so i just wanted to see the same data how it is getting replicated in the destination table so this is all about my source table and uh, let's get into the destination as you can see there are two tables with the schema is ml instead of dbo and then trn which is the table name as a prefix added the first transformation changed the dbo schema to ml and the second transformation changed the table name to trn i think it's pretty interesting all right now let's see the data also at this point my transformation task has copied the entire table without any changes to the data as you can see 
this is my source table data and as for the destination also i mean the destination have copied the entire data without any changes to the internal structure of the table so i have just stopped this task and as you can see the statistics there are this many number of you know tables are been replicated with the data so what next let us get into the designer all right so uh, let's get into the designer and then i'll create a new transformation task which will add a value to my uh, you know uh, data migration now this task will just update the format of the date unlike the source in the source the date format could be a uh, different and the destination date format would be as for my preference whatever the preference of the date and the format which i will define that will be uh, you know created in the destination table for that i came to this formula editor here and uh, the rules will be created like uh, uh, the syntax and the syntax which is going to be followed here is sqlite okay sqlite syntax will help you to write a conditional expression over here and if you want to go through it how the sqlite syntax to be followed you can better google it so let us thoroughly understand the sqlite expressions i have simply written here a case statements where i have created a parameter and the parameter is defined as update if the parameter will be defined uh, will be will be considered as update then the time date and time would be considered as now now means the system date and time it will automatically taken and if the parameter would be something different then it will not take any value that means it will be blank so let's test it okay i've just added a parameter whatever the parameter i have defined on the top so if you pass on here update and in the expression you are getting this current date and time and if i'll give the parameter value as insert then it will not show anything over here so according to the data if in the table parameter if it will get the value as update then it will return the date time so with this i can come back and then change the data type of my transformation column as uh, transformation action as date time and then the change is the field of this column and then my transformation 3 is ready so i'll just save and the reload the task why i have reloaded the target you might have a question that because my uh, task was already loaded so i have to reload the target which will not you know migrate the data again but in the target it will reform the data now uh, this was the uh, you know uh, expression uh, which i have written as the update and then let's get back to the sql server and as you can see in my target there is a column called update date which is null and here the columns in the source if i'll do any changes in the table it should uh, you know change to my uh, last column so here i'm changing this uh, you know uh, name to mike and you would be able to see that in the target there is one change is impacted and the update column update date you can see there's a date time which is being added so it is could uh, automatically track that there is a change in the table in the source and uh, he it is added the current date time in the update date so it's wonderful to track the changes in my data now up next we will do another round of uh, you know transformations i'll add one more column which will give me another uh, insight or another tracking of uh, the changes which is occurred in the table if in the source table there would be any changes of the uh, record that means any insertion then it will add a date to the you know insert column which is going to be my last column of the destination table just like update column in my source table so in this parameter if i'll pass the insert then in the destination it will update the current date in the last column which is insert tracking column okay so here this uh, code which i copied and pasted here 
uh, it has uh, the uh, conditions which is uh, this cannot be tested right away here because we will test it directly from the table so let's get back to the real time scenario and see the output okay all right so let me set this uh, task and go to the reload target again so this uh, disclaimer is showing that the changes has been updated to the existing transformations so in the uh, existing rules existing global rule so i'm just going to save this and reload the target once again and because the uh, the data is being replicated from the source to destination there are five six records are there and all the records are getting inserted so it will have impact on all the tables i mean all the columns so there is you see insert date column has added with the current date all the columns all all the records are added with the dates how because the data has been replicated from the source to destination that means inserted and if i'll do the changes in the c name customer name then it will have impact that one record has been updated and in the updated uh, date column you will see one data has been updated it has the current date time or time stamp has been captured and why insert date has all the time stamp because the data replicated that means data updated in the uh, it, through the full load the data has been updated in the uh, you know target table and hence all the records are got populated with the current date and time i think this is pretty interesting it is uh, i have i have shown you two different transformations for tracking updated uh, update of the data in the source table and for tracking uh, insert of the data in the source table as well in the source if there be an insertion it will add another column with insert date so if you not have in the, in the existing table if you not have the date column you can add the date column further as well and that concludes this video i hope you like this video if yes please give a thumbs up and stay connected with us thanks for watching bye bye for now